Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about, you know, it's, it's a question that comes up all of the time. People ask me of all ages, who is their guardian angel? And I do love the question because it's wonderful to see people discover that they have a guardian angel and want to know more about the guardian angel. And I love just that interest. But your guardian angel is very, very special. It's, how would I say, it's an angel that God created long, long ago. And at the time when he fell in love with us, whatever time that was, um, he gave us a little spark of light of himself, what we call our soul. And he asked your guardian angel to be the gatekeeper of your soul because when your human body dies, God wants you in heaven. And I think that is very precious to understand. And your guardian angel has this what would I call it, unconditional love for you. And your guardian angel can only be your guardian angel, can never be anyone else's for eternity. You are its number one. It has, as I said, that unconditional love. It sees everything of you that is incredibly beauty and so perfect. And yet ourselves, we don't see ourselves that way. But your guardian angel sees you as an incredible person and loves you no matter what. No matter even if you do something wrong, your guardian angel will still love you. Your guardian angel is connected to you, was appointed in heaven. You and your guardian angel, your soul stood in front of God before you were conceived. And your guardian angel was given this task and your guardian angel does all of the time prompt you. It gives you signs. And sometimes we allow ourselves humanly to feel the love of our guardian angel. But one thing, you know, sometimes someone would say to me, but could my guardian angel be my grandmother? Or could my guardian angel be, you know, my son? And I'd have to say, no, that can't happen. But if you feel the presence of a loved one around you all of the time, remember, because of the love that your guardian angel has for you and the love that God has for you, has the soul in and around you every time you need them. And I suppose that leads at times to us thinking that, you know, my grandmother or my son or my mom or my best friend is my guardian angel. But their soul is in and around you at different times. Your guardian angel is, how would I say, is so different than a soul. And your guardian angel is neither male nor female. But if you need that feeling that your guardian angel is female, it will give you that. Or if you need it that it's male, it will give you that. But many a time I have to smile because, you know, someone might be standing in front of me and they say to me, you know, is my guardian angel male or female? And I have to tell them it's neither. 
I said, what do you think your guardian angel is at times? When you feel the presence or the energy really strong, that your guardian angel has been there um, helping you and comforting you because that's its job, to help you and to comfort you as much as possible, but not to step over those boundaries of free will. That's one thing God won't allow. And I suppose that's why we make mistakes. The human part of us does, but not your soul. And your guardian angel, how would I say, just wants to be there for you. And I, I love the thing about your guardian angel only has eyes for you. I have never seen, now that I think of it, and, and sometimes I suppose I'm not asked enough of questions in, in different ways, but just talking about who is your guardian angel. I have never seen a guardian angel giving attention to another human being in the way that your guardian angel does. It, another guard, it's, it's kind of like very seldom it happens in the sense of attention that another guardian angel interferes with, another, with you, let's say, or, or anyone else. That doesn't happen because your guardian angel can only be yours and has only eyes for you and loves you unconditionally and sees you as unique and perfect in every way, you know, and is so proud of you. If, if you can use that word, and that's again a human word and it could be the wrong word I'm using, um, but just know your guardian angel is there. And if you already know your guardian angel's name, just leave it at that. You know, don't change it. Or if you don't know your guardian angel's name, ask. And it usually is the first thing that comes to your mind, no matter how simple it may be or how complicated it may be. Just know your guardian angel is there for you and that you are never, never alone, no matter what situation you're in. Your guardian angel is right there with you and loves you unconditionally. I love the way that, you know, I always remember, you know, saying this, you know, I think in my first talk or it was a TV station, I, I can't remember. And the first thing that was said was, and is my guardian angel in the bathroom with me? And yes, your guardian angel is in the bathroom with you. But your guardian angel or any angel doesn't see you in the way that you see yourself. Um, it doesn't have, how would I say, those human s. I'm not saying the right word, but doesn't have the human part of us that we have, that we would be embarrassed or, or we would feel, oh God, no one can see me in the bathroom. This is completely private. But your guardian angel can't stand outside the door. It has to be right there with you. And I always say, you know, three steps behind you, but yet it's all around you. And I've seen so many times, you know, a guardian angel embracing someone, you know, helping them to see hope, helping them to feel love. And one thing you must say to yourself, and that is that you know that you are loved and that you know your guardian angel is your best friend. Um, your best friend in a way that even your human best friend cannot be. You can literally share everything with your guardian angel and you don't have to feel embarrassed. You don't have to feel, I can't share that because 
The lovely thing is your guardian angel already knows, you know, and, and I love that, but they do love when you share with them, when you talk about the things that are happening in your life, the good ones and the not so good ones, you know, um, that pain and hurt. But they love as well. And I, I suppose so many times we don't, and my voice is going a bit crackly, but so many times we, we don't share, you know, the good things. We forget about our guardian angel. We, in a sense, forget that your guardian angel was there helping you all the time. I love the way um, my granddaughter said to me the other day, <coughs> sorry, I have to give a little cough, said to me the other day, Granny, and I said, what? And she said, I talk to my guardian angel every day. Well, almost every day, she said. And, and I said, what do you talk to your guardian angel about? And she said, well, this morning I asked my guardian angel, was my guardian angel happy? Was my guardian angel going to enjoy going to school with me? Um, and she went on and on. Um, and I suppose we don't even think of saying things like that to our guardian angel, but you have the freedom to say whatever you wish. You have the freedom to give out to your guardian angel. You have the freedom to ask your guardian angel, how's your guardian angel today? But let me assure you, just like I did my granddaughter, your guardian angel is perfect. They don't have, they just have love. And that love they pour on us. But it was lovely to hear. And I've heard children many times tell me the same thing. They ask the guardian angel, you know, were you happy going swimming with me? You know, were you happy when we brought the dog for a walk? Um, I remember a little boy about 11 and he said to me, I asked my guardian angel, you know, was he happy that I didn't do well in school today? I got my maths test. I made a mess of it. And the thing is to remember, your guardian angel loves you. Um, and, and in a human way, I suppose we, we could say, your guardian angel is happy with everything you do. Even sometimes when you do something bad, it doesn't judge you. It doesn't have that human ability to be unhappy with you. It just loves you. And it does everything to help you to make right if you can, what you've done wrong. And I think that is something wonderful of our guardian angels. It loves you unconditionally. Just think of that. Think of no matter what you've done, your guardian angel loves you unconditionally, even when you haven't done something so good. It still loves you. It's like that love can never be broken. That love that God bound together in heaven when your soul and your guardian angel stood in front of God. And maybe if you can remember all of that, or some of it even, it will help to give you hope. It'll help you to enjoy life a little bit more. It'll help you to say, I'm glad to be alive. So say hello to your guardian angel. It's right there with you. So love you and bless you. God bless. Love you all.